on our YouTube channel so far, we've showed you plenty of skills and drills, but today we want to show you the Game Sense approach. Game Sense is a modified version of our sport. So in this particular activity, um, we're going to show you touch netting, which involves key concepts such as decision making, passing and movement. So touch netting could be used as a warm up drill at the end of training, it can even be used for fitness. So we're going to use the middle third, you can use any third of the court. You could have, for here, today we've got three on three, but you can have up to five on five. So whatever amount of plays you have, utilise everyone. So in this case, we've got the grey team versus the black team. So they'll walk to their sidelines. So girls just walk to your sidelines. It's just netball rules. All netball rules apply except the scoring system. So when the girls get towards the sideline, they just need to score a try, in other words, touch and put the ball down over the line and then possession will change. There's a lot going on here. It will look messy. It's not like your stationary clean warm up where you're standing still and passing. This is getting them ready for the game um, and it's really good at the end of training when you've had a really intense session and they've got to think for the last um, couple of minutes. All right, girls, so let's go, let's get started. So as you can see, it's just netball rules, grey versus black, okay, they're heading across the court, they've got to do all their key movements, okay, we'll have that, yeah, one nil from there, leave it, black ball, so black are going to try and bring it back the other direction, they've got to think about their space, spatial awareness, no, that one's out, so grey, grey ball, grey ball from there. We also want to encourage girls, you have to do at least three passes before you can score. So there's one, two, you need one more. You might play it back out, play it back out. Three, good, two nil, black ball. So they've got to think of space. They want to be doing double leads. Great pop back, Ruby, passing down the court, marking up. And, oh, nice Brookie. All right, hold. So currently it's 2-1 here at Nettie Heads Touch Nettie. Okay, so we want to really make it um, clear that they have to do at least three passes. We don't want them throwing those long bombs and it just going from one end to the other. We want to encourage the skills and movements we always um, teach at Nettie Heads. So lots of dodges, double leads, um, defending one-on-one, -on -one, okay, and really good passing. All right, girls, let's go. Round two. Ready, ready. So black ball. Finding some space. Oh, that's out. Grey ball. So I just play out. See if it goes over the transverse. It's just out in the other team's ball. So, yep, from there. Making sure you can have your whistle in your mouth as a coach. All right, hold it there. So this is a really good example. We've got a whole third here and the whole, all the grey team are in one corner. So as a coach, you could stop the game and say, right, what do we need to do here? Brookie, you've got no space, so you need to get out of there. Easy, you could go a bit wider. We can encourage our double movement, so our one, two, you go into a space and then pop back. All right, so we're gonna start from here. So we've, we've stopped them as a coach, given them a little bit of instructed, instruction, reminded them of where we want them to be. All right, so what would be a good option, Brookie? Yep. Okay, encourage them that it's okay to play the ball back, create space for someone else. Oh, out, black, black throw in. Come on girls, you've got 30 seconds here, it's still 2-1, let's find some space, that's one, change direction, great Michaela. Two, yep, your third pass, good, you can score at any time. Great, so that's 2-0. So just to finish up with this game, I also have rounds, so I have round one, round two, round three. At one point, you can encourage the grey team to go and have a team talk. So grey, go and have a team talk before round three. Um, the black team can have a team talk. They might talk about who they're marking, what's their team strategy, how are they going to get the ball down quickest in three passes. All right, so I've just brought the grey team in to talk about what they discussed during their team talk. So girls, what did you talk about? We all know who to defend. Great. <laughs> and we're going to drive in and out to make some space. So space, defense. Other people to run in. Yeah, great. That's a really good one. Is it? And just before we drive to the ball, we're going to do some prelims before. Great. Okay, so they've obviously had a really good team talk. Let's go, round three. Yeah. Okay, here we go, last round. <laughs> it's two all. It's two all. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Okay. Oh, good passes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your balance. Some good movement. That's it, great arms, Eden. 
Oh, good space meter. Three, two, let's go, Gray. Pick it up. Pick it up. Is that a good space, Izzy? Find it. Yep. Go long. Yep. Yes, Brookie. Good girl. Yep. Go again. Yep. All right, held ball there. Switch. Over to Black. You need three passes, so you're going to have to think about this, Black. One. Play it out. Play it out. Yeah, yeah. Two. And. Yep. Space, yeah. space. Three at least. You can score at any time now. Line, four, two. 